Welcome to part two. So in the first video, we took a stock 302 head, blow tested it after we looked it over. It didn't do so well. So now we know 302 head's not that great as cast. In this video, we're going to start off with a few things to improve that, like a valve job, uh, some deshrouding of the chamber around the intake valve. So in the last video, with a stock intake port, Looking like this, we ended up with these numbers and a peak of 175 after 500. <clears throat> well, in between the first video and this video, we'll just cut to the chase. I had made another video and in editing, guess what happened? So I had to start over, but I do have the numbers I'd written down and all that from it. So let's see what it looks like. And this is a wide 30 top cut, narrow 45, <clears throat> excuse me, 60 and a 75. Okay, that's stock number crap there. We're not worried about that. So here's the port we did this at. Okay, and these are the numbers by the way. Yeah, it picked up quite a bit, didn't it? I guess I should just pull this trash back out and give you something to kind of look at. And then I'll show you what it looks like. Cameras never show you what the eye does, but I think if you look down at the lower portion of the seat angles there, you'll see what I'm talking about. So, big 30, 45, 60, and a light 75 under that. Just kind of lead it back there, you know. I also cut down that guy to hair. And uh, it's caveman because this is a cracked head and I'm fiddling around trying to show you guys something for free. And I, honestly, I'm not into making things very pretty anyways. It's about function. If it does what I need it to do, I leave it. So anyhow, there you go. And that's what that chamber looks like next to a stock one. There you can see it's a drastic difference. I guess I better have something to point out. But in this area right here, buddy, big problem. Choking. Totally choking it. Oh yeah, there's where the valve seat ends up, by the way. So, anyhow, I did that, lost that video, moved on. So here we go. So here's a valve job. <laughs> and again, 75, 60, 45, 30, but this time I put a 15 on it and I used a... When you guys do this, get a head gasket. A couple spark plugs. NGKs fit a lot tighter than Autolite, that's for sure. Something I learned. Piece of crap Autolite. This one's loose and this one's tight. Anyhow, you get yourself a paint pen too when you're dealing with a small bore engine like a 318. Um, you're not going to use a tiny little marker or a scribe and die them, which you could use. But in this case, I'm not using that. I'm going to use this wide paint pen because I want to simulate the size of a 391 bore and not a four inch plus bore okay so that's what i recommend you guys do when you untroud these things and let me take this off of here and again just to show you where you really end up when you do it that way <laughs> is where you need to be at around right around that 391 bore a little bigger if you're building it all right. Now let's just take a look at this intake port with a valve job only. Nice big ledge.
Nice big ledge all around here. Sharper than shit, of course. But that's all going to do is I'm going to blend this. We're going to walk through that real quick. And then, uh, yeah, real quick. Then uh, we're going to put it on the flow bench for a fresh test so you can see the numbers with your own eyes, etc. All right, stay tuned. Here we go. fits with this. I like doing these by the way. Um, you know, once you get your chamber shape right, I don't really care about that. I care about a lot about this. Trace it out. You can flip it around. Use spark plugs to hold it where you need it to be. I'm gonna see where this ends up in comparison to a 920 head. That's what I'm doing and where I would open it up. Oh look at that. Gee, falls right in there. Looks like that head got open just a hair more, but. Been here, done this before. Obviously. Anyhow, we're going to knock this out to knock this down, but anyhow. This is the shape, roughly, that you're looking for. You can see. 
see with the light there's some little touch up but to buzz it out in front of you kind of show you where you need to be that's it buddy we are trying to blend this with that last angle of the 15 and the 15 is pretty flat so it's easier and usually better for higher lift flow to use a 30 or something steeper to come up into that closed chamber and carry the high lift flow and to make bring the peak up further and lift. But what I'm showing you is what's going to work in most everybody's car, which is 100 to 550 lift. So here we go. Let's put our valve job only and chamber and shroud on the flow bench and see what it does. Okay, let's get a 1 through 400 and see what changed. And then a 500, of course. I'll stop in there. You know what?